If you take away anything from this video, it should be an understanding of the butt for world. Not the butt for world. This has nothing to do with butts. The butt for world is a concept that comes up in interviews pretty frequently. Whatever you do, don't laugh when it comes up. Today, I will be discussing economic consulting interviews. Gross. I know. I'm going to be going over how to prepare for behavioral questions, biographical questions, case interviews, technical interviews, coding questions, and how to cram if you don't have a lot of time before your interview. Feel free to skip around through the sections using the times listed in the description. I first want to clarify that economic consulting interviews are different from strategy and management consulting interviews because they are different industries. In a nutshell, strategy and management consulting firms help other companies with business operations and things like increasing profits. Generally, when people talk about consulting, they are referring to this type of work. Economic consulting firms, on the other hand, provide more sophisticated guidance based on statistical evidence, data analysis, and economic theory to assist with legal matters. Economic consulting firms oftentimes work closely with lawyers and experts with PhDs. You don't need a law background to work in economic consulting. That's what the lawyers are for. Most people who end up in economic consulting have an econ, math, or stats background. Pretty much every company will ask you about your resume and experience, and a few behavioral questions. In my actuarial interview tips video, I talked about these general questions and general tips in addition to actuarial questions. I would say that the information in that video about these general questions is pretty applicable to any interview, so I will link that below. The focus of today's video will be on economic consulting case interviews and technical interviews. Not every economic consulting firm has these types of interviews, and of the firms that do conduct these interviews, not every firm conducts them in the same way. Therefore, before you interview with a company, I would recommend doing research on what the interview will be like so you know what you are getting into. I would first start by looking at the company's website, then sites like Glassdoor and LinkedIn. Because anyone can post on Glassdoor and LinkedIn, these sources are not always the most reliable. Some posts may be outdated as well. Just because a candidate got a certain type of question three years ago, or even last year, that doesn't mean that you will get the same type of question in your interview next week. If you are having trouble finding information online, you can also ask the recruiter or someone else you know at the company for tips on how to prepare for the interview. Sometimes companies are dishonest and will straight up lie to you about what will be in the interview. There have been multiple occasions where I was given false information by a recruiter or employee about what would be in the interview. When this stuff happens, I don't think it is always necessarily malicious. You can sometimes chalk these events up to carelessness and poor planning. However, I am a little jaded by some of my corporate experiences and tend to be pretty skeptical of corporations in general, so I usually don't assume the best when stuff like that happens. Once you have done research on the type of interview you will be facing, you may realize you need to prepare for a case interview. These are pretty common. Some well-known economic consulting firms that conduct case interviews include Bates White, Cornerstone Research, Charles River Associates, Nira, The Brattle Group, and FTI Consulting. Economic consulting case interviews are similar to case interviews conducted by strategy and management consulting firms, but they are different in a few ways. In both types of interviews, candidates spend about 20 to 40 minutes solving a business problem. Strategy cases focus on pretty generic business problems. For example, problems related to increasing profit, revamping a marketing strategy, or expanding into a new market. In economic consulting cases, there is almost always a legal aspect. Oftentimes, one company is suing another, and you may be asked to come up with a strategy to defend one or both sides. You may also be asked to calculate damages. During both types of cases, there is often at least one mental math question and a question where you are presented with a table or graph and asked to interpret the results. Economic cases are usually led by the interviewer, so you won't usually be expected to produce an entire strategy on your own. Oftentimes, the interviewer will break the case into parts to help you structure your thoughts. Most economic cases are given verbally, but at some firms you may get a written case where you are given a paper with questions to respond to via pen and paper. If your interview is given verbally, take notes on the details of the case as the interviewer gives you the background on the case. Restate the question and clarify any key points before you begin your answer. Make sure you are understanding and answering the question they are asking. It is easy to accidentally answer the wrong question, which isn't helpful. 
Once you have understood the question and asked any clarifying questions, be sure to explain your thought process out loud as you begin to form an answer. Being able to articulate your thought process clearly and concisely is usually more important than getting a correct answer. In this next section, I want to talk about how to practice economic case interviews. First, I would suggest going to the websites of the firms that you are interviewing with or the firms linked below to read about the work that economic consulting firms do. This will help you get a general understanding of the types of problems economic consulting companies work on. These include cases about collusion, monopolies, wage discrimination, patent infringement, and a lot more. Reading about these cases will also help you become familiar with some basic legal terms that might come up in the interview. For example, plaintiff, appeal, class action, but for, deposition, class certification, and corrective disclosure are all pretty common. Once you have familiarized yourself with common problems and legal terms, I would suggest actually doing some of the economic cases that are out there. I will link these below. First, read through a case or two to get a feel. Then have a friend review a case before you have looked at it and actually sit down and have your friend interview you. Even if your friend does not have much experience with the subject matter, it will still be helpful to run the case with them and hear their feedback. The cases below include answers, so your friend will be able to use those. After you've gone through all the economic cases I've linked below and any others you were able to find online, it might be helpful to try practicing strategy cases with a friend. I suggest this because it's really hard to find econ cases online, but there are hundreds of practice strategy case interviews out there, and I have found that for me, practicing these strategy cases helped a lot with my economic consulting case interviews. The summer before recruitment, I practiced strategy case interviews by interviewing my classmates and letting my classmates interview me. Then we would each give each other feedback. It was really helpful for me to give case interviews too because it helped me to understand what the interviewers might notice or look for in interviews. Practicing strategy cases also helped me think out loud, answer questions on the spot, and just get used to the atmosphere and pressure that comes with interviews like these. In strategy cases, there's a lot of quick thinking, crude mental math, bullshitting, and making assumptions, which are all helpful to practice before economic case interviews too. In addition to case interviews, you may come across technical interviews testing your coding knowledge or your knowledge of various statistical or economic topics. Again, not every economic consulting firm has these types of interviews and of the firms that do conduct these interviews, not every firm conducts them in the same way. Some firms will ask you these questions verbally and others may give you a written test. The first type of technical question I want to discuss is the coding questions. It's pretty hard to prepare for these. They are also pretty uncommon, especially for entry-level positions. If you get any coding questions, they may ask a few questions about manipulating data. That's probably the most likely type of coding question because manipulating and cleaning data is a task that is performed much more frequently than regression analysis and other statistical procedures. That said, it is still possible to get questions on these more advanced topics. I wouldn't worry too much about these types of questions though because they are pretty uncommon and you learn a lot of what you need on the job. You may also get some questions about econ or stats topics. These questions are more likely if you have a line on your resume listing relevant courses as econometrics, advanced statistics, game theory, etc. I used to have a line like this on my resume and have been asked questions like, what is a t-test? Define r-squared. And can you explain the prisoner's dilemma in layman's terms? These types of questions on your coursework are generally about more simple topics. They won't ask you to derive the betas in a logit regression. Part of the reason they ask questions about simpler topics is because they want to gauge your ability to communicate. Economic consultants work with lawyers frequently, so we have to be able to communicate advanced economic and statistical concepts in a simple and clear manner to people who haven't necessarily taken coursework in those subject areas. So when you review these topics before an interview, think about the best way to articulate these concepts out loud, not just how to answer questions on these topics in a class on a written exam. These questions on your coursework are also not that common, so I would not spend a lot of time reviewing your coursework. What is more important is being comfortable talking about the things on your resume. If you completed a senior thesis and did some cool regression analysis, that would be something you should be very familiar with and comfortable discussing. That is all I have on the technical questions, and so now I've talked about pretty much everything that might come up in an economic consulting interview. There is a lot. I want to mention that it is also totally possible to get an offer without studying any of these topics. 
Some people are just naturally good at interviewing and thinking on their feet, but it doesn't hurt to review if you have some time. If you don't have a ton of time to review, this is how I would prioritize interview prep. First, make sure you can handle all the generic behavioral questions and questions about your resume and experience. Oftentimes, your first interview will be with a recruiter in HR, and you won't get a chance to have a case interview or a technical interview before you've passed the generic interview with HR. Second, I would research the company you are interviewing with to get a sense of what their interviews are like. Base the rest of your interview prep on what you expect the company to ask you. If you have to prepare for a case interview, just reading through a couple examples will help a lot. This half-assed strategy will be more helpful if you're someone who applied to a bunch of different companies and different industries and happened to get a couple interviews with some economic consulting firms. If you are someone who is very interested in this industry and you're applying to a lot of econ consulting firms, you may as well spend time preparing for all of the types of questions I've discussed because they are likely to come up at some point if you are interviewing with a lot of companies. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and good luck on your interview.